Hey guys, so a while ago I did an unboxing of my new ViewSonic monitor. After I did the unboxing, I was inundated with messages from people asking if I recommended it, if I liked it, how I found it, and at the time I hadn't even used it. But I've been using it solidly for a few months now, so I finally feel comfortable giving a really honest review about my thoughts on the ViewSonic monitor. So. Let's get into it. So first things first, I wanna show you how easy it is to use. You've just gotta connect your laptop to the monitor. I do wanna make you aware that the ViewSonic doesn't come with the cable for the newer MacBook Pro models. They've still got the old cable, so I had to purchase. So now you can see just how generous the size of this monitor is. It's fantastic for viewing and editing photography, especially, and I think if you're working on videography as well, it'd be brilliant for that. But aside from the size and also how sort of lovely the monitor looks in design and how easy it is to adjust the height and all that stuff, the best thing about it is the color calibration, hands down. I'll show you why. So I'm just gonna open up Lightroom here and open up to full screen. Now this is gonna be hard to explain over my iPhone because iPhones already exaggerate color tones and deepen saturation but I'm gonna do my best. Now we all love Mac products. I'm not here to shit all over Mac products, but one of the biggest issues photographers have is color calibration. They are so hard to calibrate on Mac products. Mac loves to make everything look bright and vivid and intense and inaccurate. What I love about the ViewSonic is that I'm getting an accurate portrayal of what the colors will be when I print. Whereas over on the MacBook, it's, it's a bit of guesswork. It's been a huge relief for me knowing that when I send off my client's photos to the print shop that I'm going to get an accurate representation of all of my work in print form. And you can see it's just beautiful. And it's so funny to me that even just scrolling through those images, what you're seeing on your smartphone watching this isn't accurate because smartphones change the colors. <laughs> and this is my dilemma. So thank you ViewSonic for fixing this. So I'll pop a link in this stories in case you're interested in investing in a monitor for your work, whether you're a photographer or videographer or graphic designer and you want to consider the ViewSonic.